Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the standard library functions. Inside the C programming, we are having various functions which are the part of library. Library is also called header files. So we are having various header files. The first one is the stdio.h. Here .h stands for header file. The next one is stdlib.h. Next is conio.h. Then ctype.h. Then math.h. String.h and process.h. We are starting with the first header file or the library that is stdio.h, which name is standard input output header file. This header file is used for input output operations. In stdio.h, we are having various functions which work for input output. The first function is printf. Printf is used to display the output on user screen. The next function is scanf. It is used to take input from the user. The next function is getc. Getc is used to take the character input. Here getc, c stands for character. So we are taking the character input. The next function is putc. Put character. So putting the character onto the user screen. The next function is getS. Here S stands for string. That means we are taking the string input from the user. The next function is put S. That means putting the string onto the user screen. stdio.h also contain all the file handling functions. The first function we are having is the fopen. That is used for opening the file. The next function is fclose. This function is used for closing the file. Similarly, all the file functions are the part of stdio.h. In the file functions, we are having fprintf, fscanf, fgetc, fputc, fputs, fgets. Similarly, all the file functions, they are the part of stdio.h. The next header file or the library is stdlib.h. Here std is standard, lib is library. So this is standard library. It is used for general utility. In stdlib header file, we are having various functions. Just like the first function is a to f. Here a signify argument. That means string. To f, f signify float. So here we are converting string to float. The next function is a to i. Here a signify argument that means string to i. i means integer. So it converts string to integer. The next function is a to l. Here a is argument that means string to l. l means it is the long integer. So we are converting string to long integer. The next function is a to ll. Here a signify argument that means string to ll that means long long integer. So we are converting string to long long integer. The next function is rand. This function provide random value. If you want that every time you want to get a different value. So we use the rand function that means random. The next function is exit. If you want to terminate the program. And we don't want to return any value, then we use exit function, means terminating and no value in return. The next function is abort. It is used to terminate the program. Inside stdlib.h, we are having dynamic memory allocation functions. When we are running the program, at that time, if you want to allocate some memory, that is called dynamic memory allocation. And for dynamic memory allocation, we are having certain functions. Just like the first function is malloc. The second function is calloc. Malloc and calloc function are used to allocate memory dynamically. The next function is realloc. If you want to reallocate the memory dynamically, then we use the function which is realloc. The next function is free. This function is used to free the memory which was earlier allocated. So these dynamic memory allocation functions are the part of stdlib.h header file. The next header file or the library is conio.h. Conio as the name signify console input output. So conio.h is used for console input output operations. When we are using the turbo c compiler, 
Turbo C work on the console. So here Konio.h functions work on Turbo C compiler. The first function in Konio.h is CLR SCR. This function is used to clear the screen. Means previous output if you want to clear, then we use CLR SCR. The next function is get ch. This function is used to get the character from keyboard. We use the get ch function at the end of program to hold the output screen. We know that whenever we are having the output screen, it just come back to the code. To hold that, we use the function which is get ch. So here on the output window, it wait for the user character input. So till that it wait and we take it as the holding the output screen. The next function is get CHE. This function is used to get the character from keyboard and echo to the output screen. There is a difference between get CH and get CHE. In get CH, we take the character from keyboard, but don't echo on the output screen. But in the get CHE, we take the character from keyboard and echo on the output screen. So using the get CHE function, whenever you are giving some character, that should also be displayed onto the output screen. The next header file or the library is ctype.h. Ctype header file is used for handling characters. Ctype header file has various functions, just like the first function is is alpha. Is alpha means is alphabet. It check that a character is alphabet or not. The next function is is digit. This function check the given character is digit or not. The next function is is lower. It check character is in lower case or not. The next function is is upper. This function check the given character is into upper case or not. The next function is to lower. This function convert the given character to the lower case. The next function is to upper. This function convert given character to the upper case. The next header file or the library we are having is math.h, which is for the mathematic functions. These functions are used for the mathematic calculations. There are various functions inside the math.h, just like we are having the first function, which is sqrt. It is used for finding the square root. The next function is pow. It is used for finding the power. The next function is CEIL. This function finds the ceiling value. Let's say we are having is the value which is 2.5. Its ceiling value means above value is 3. The next function is floor. This function find the floor value. That means lower value. If we have the 2.5, here we are having the lower value is 2. The next function is FABS. This function provides the absolute value. The next function is sine. Next is cos and the next is tan. Sine function is used to find the sine value. Similarly, cos is used for the cos value and tan for the tan value. These are used into the mathematics which are sine, cos and tan. The next header file of the library we are having is string.h. String header file is used for handling the string. There are various functions which are the part of string header file. The first function is strlen. It find length of the string. The next function is strlwr. It converts string to the lower case. The next function is strupr. It converts string to the upper case. The next function is strrev. This function reverse the string. The next function is strcpy. This function copy one string to the another. Next function is strcat. This function concatenate two strings. The next function is strcmp. This function compare two strings. The next function is strdup. This function make duplicate of string. The next function is strchr. This function find given character in the string. The next function is strstr. This function find given substring into the string. 
The next header file or the library we are having is process.h. Process header file is used to handle the process and threads. In process header file, we are having various functions. Just like the first function we are having is get PID. It is used to get the process ID. The next function is begin thread. A process can have multiple threads. Just like in the Google Chrome, we are having various tabs. Similarly, process have multiple threads. So to create a thread, we use this function which is begin thread. The next function is end thread. To close a thread of a process, the function is used which is end thread. The next function is C exit. This function is used to restore interrupt vectors altered by startup code. The next function is EXECL. And the next function is EXECV. These two functions load and execute the new child process. And here the memory they are consuming that was previously available with the parent means these two functions use the parent memory and there they create the new child. But in the first function EXECL the parameters are passed individually and the second function EXECV here the parameters are passed as array of pointer. The next function is SPAWNL. And the next function is SPAWNV. So these two functions load and execute new child process. Here in the first function which is SPAWNL, parameters are passed individually. But in the second function SPAWNV, the parameters are passed as array of pointers. These functions are the part of process.h. So that is all about the standard library functions.